943. Today, Cron 4 is honoring the winner of the Bay Area's Remarkable Women Contest. Yes, you know, over the last month, we've been profiling four amazing Bay Area women who you see on the monitor back there. It's all part of our annual series for Women's History Month. Time to announce the winner, Sydney Gressel. She is a pediatric ER nurse at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, San Francisco, and this is her story. It's a big idea born out of something as simple as a pizza party. In March of 2020, nurse Sydney Gressel was starting to see the ramp up of COVID response at her job in the pediatric ER at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital in San Francisco. But her job site had yet to experience the overload of cases that other hospitals were. And I was feeling guilty for being uh, in California when things were going off in New York, of course, and then being in pediatrics where we were not seeing the same kind of uh, more and severe infections in younger people and really feeling like I wanted to be able to do more and give more. Then one night she suggested that friends also wanting to help out buy pizzas for her team. My staff were just blown away that strangers who they'd never met before would send good pizza also <laughs> uh, to our department uh, and it was just such a nice morale boost um, to really feel appreciated from the community. It was at the time when shelter in place orders were just starting to kick in and it actually had become really difficult to source food on a break. Um, all of a sudden, the restaurants that were all walking distance from the hospital were all closed. Um, grocery store lines were out, you know, around the block kind of thing. The necessity of getting overworked medical workers fueled up fueled the idea behind Frontline Foods. Its dual purpose tackles another pandemic related problem. They raise money to hire restaurants struggling under shelter in place rules, which gives them much needed business to make meals that both feed and lift spirits of the people putting themselves at risk as they battle an invisible enemy. The nonprofit has since moved beyond hospitals. In this video, you can see San Francisco Mayor London Breed helping out at a frontline foods delivery to firefighters. We've served meals to firefighters, to EMS. We have served in low-income housing collectives. We work with veterans. So kind of expanding our definition beyond um, just the hospital about who frontline folks are, who essential folks are. And the idea caught on. And over the course of this last year, basically, we've raised over $10 million and have served thousands of meals in hospitals and in communities nationwide. We have, I don't know, about 50 some chapters set up throughout the country, all run by this army of volunteers that came together. The reins of the now national nonprofit have been handed over to another relief agency, World Central Kitchen. One of Gressel's colleagues at the hospital says the mother of two young girls continues to inspire others with her bravery and strength. This summer, she had both breasts and fallopian tubes removed preventatively after being diagnosed with the breast cancer gene. Despite a whirlwind year, Gressel continues to be enthusiastic about nursing. Recognizing that people that I'm going to encounter that day are having a scary experience, potentially a life-threatening experience. And if I can bring some calm, some love, some reassurance, some information, and kind of just be with a person in their experience, it, it right in front of me, I can see it make a difference in the world. Sydney Gressel making differences both big and small, helping change the world for the better. Maureen Kelly. Cron 4 News. And Sydney joins us. We're not worthy. I mean, <laughs> for to be here with what you've done. Yes. Uh, I just want to thank you from Cron, and we have a big thank you, we actually. We do. We want to present in you. In cash form or a check. With a $1,000 <laughs> check presented oh to the charity that you chose. Yeah. Did you realize Can we get that some you'd applause be in the room? Did you <laughs> Sydney, how about that? Huh? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Um, and we also have a gift bag. We do. Gifts outside. Lots of other things. Creating Freedom Movements. Why? Well, yeah, tell us where well, this money's um, going. Creating Freedom Movements is an Oakland-based organization that's really dedicated to social justice issues mm -hmm. across the board and um, interlinking uh, and interrelated issues. Um, yeah. So folks who are working to improve um, lives for folks with disabilities, obviously um, doing work against uh, and ending racism, um, LGBT uh, issues. So folks who have kind of um, leadership on uh, 
Um, yeah, yeah, how yeah. did you, how, what inspired, because here you are on to the next cause. And first it started with a pizza, <laughs> and then it went to $10 million you don't feeding. Know, you don't know how to stop. What is it, what is it that inspires you? Yeah. Why, why are you so active for them? Well, um, so I work in healthcare, yeah. and, um, you know, in a professional sense, my job is taking care of people. Um, but when COVID hit, you know, I work in a children's hospital, yeah. and luckily children have not been nearly as affected by Thankfully. this terrible virus as much as older folks. Yeah. Right. So I almost felt a little bit guilty, like here I'm almost protected, sheltered in a children's hospital when right. other colleagues across the country were really seeing terrible things yeah. in their workplace. So I felt compelled to do more. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's kind of how the initial Frontline Foods Project uh, um, came to be. But, you know, big picture, the things that I'm passionate about are equal rights for all, right. um, mm -hmm. social justice, um, obviously doing work, especially now more than ever, um, to address the longstanding problem of racism that we have in our country. Sure. Right. Um, we've got work to do around women's issues and gay rights and so on. So I chose this organization because these folks are working on all of those things. Yeah. They're also very uh, local, grassroots, mm -hmm. and leaders who represent a lot of different diverse communities working together to tackle all these issues. We have here at Cron a focus on women doing great things, and you're one of them, and uh, you're going to inspire a whole new group of women, including your own kids. Yeah, you, you have, have two, two kids? Girls, I do. Right? I have two girls. Yeah. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old, so... they watching um, you right now? <laughs> no, they're finally... One of them is back to school, so that's exciting. Right. Um, yeah, I didn't actually know that I was going to be doing this here today, so... Um, do you, you Are you always conscious that you are a role model as a woman for little kids like yours and everybody? else watching? You know, I guess I don't think about that consciously, but certainly the way that we show up um, in the lives of little kids makes such a difference. So, um, thank you for saying I'm a role <laughs> model. Well, you, well uh, no, I mean, thank did you. you think you'd grow up to be, you know, the nurse you are today and, you know, aim high or? I didn't know that it was going to be nursing, yeah. um, but I always knew that I wanted to help people and that just seemed like a an obvious path once I, right. you know, got into it. Well, so, and such yeah. little ones too that are in a very scary time in their lives, right? Because you're an ER nurse. Well, actually, I've just switched roles a couple months ago. I've been in the emergency room the last few years, and then yeah. I went back to an inpatient critical care unit, right. um, still with children, yeah. Yeah. Um, working on my nurse practitioner well, license. We're so. all totally vaccinated, just so you know, and see us breathing, yes. and, you yes. know, so that's good. And get good. your shot if you haven't. Oh, right, absolutely. Right, right. Yeah, How is yeah. that going? And I know the little well, kids Well, I just saw it, a but. fantastic statistic that um, our mayor, London Breed, shared this morning that 60% um, of folks in San Francisco ages 16 and older now now have at least a first shot in. Wow. Um, so that's significant. Um, yeah. It certainly brings peace of mind to hospital workers like myself, but just our, you know, we're ready to get our lives back. And um, there's been just too much unnecessary pain and suffering. So this seems like a hopeful path forward. So. And you're part of that path and you've brought us it's all this amazing. way and we thank you. And can I just say on, on a personal note, you're going to have to be the surrogate for all the other healthcare professionals mm -hmm. at children's hospitals. My One of my children had to be uh, cared for in a children's hospital a few times over the past few years and the work you guys do mm -hmm. thank you very much mine too okay. makes all the difference thank it really does much. so thank you thank you yeah and if anybody wants to learn more about this organization you can check out their website which is creatingfreedommovements.org again they're a, a local oakland-based organization that trains up leaders and activists and it's Good. pretty incredible cindy gressel thanks for joining us thanks guys we'll be right back.